Forgive me. I said I wasn't going to do it, and I did it. We're doing capitals. Progressive. On Europe advanced. We're doing it. I'm sorry. I said it wasn't going to happen after that five-hour game, and it's happening. It's happening. We are black, and I need a good cap spot. Please, let me push the action. Look at this. This is a good blizzard. Like, if, oh. Sean Pars, thank you for the sub, bro. Why? Why? No, no. I'm sorry. I had to do it. We had to do it. I get a late cap choice. Um, I would love to go here, honestly, Bulgaria. Because I could get in the middle, hopefully at least hold this bonus. Maybe work on this bonus or in here. No, that sucks so bad. Surprised blue didn't go in here or something. If white doesn't go here, maybe I go here? No, maybe not. Make a five cap. I definitely don't go here. Although going here and then taking all this would be fun. Hmm. This is gross. <clears throat> I'm not quite sure. Um, just to clarify settings, this is the standard Europe Advanced Capital Conquest. Uh, Fog and Blizzards are on. Progressive cards. And bots are normal, essentially. So pink goes after me. I could look at a Russia cap. Wait, I'm black, not purple. Right, if I was purple, that would be okay. I really want to cap here, but I think blue will roll me on turn one. With his 11 on 5. Do I take a chance? White's probably going to go London, right? London cap looks really good here. He's got not much vision. He's got vision of this. He knows nobody's here. Yeah, that's a good play. I don't know why he did. He took a long time to think of that. I vote Italy Island. If black, if blue rolls this, my game's over. But like, I feel like I need it. How good is blue? The last time I picked a bad cap because I didn't want to take a chance early. We're taking a chance. <laughs> I'm going to presume that he doesn't roll me on turn one with 11 on five. Because it's a terrible roll, and you can't hold both caps, and your game's over immediately. Yes! He doesn't roll me. Good. We're in the game, and we have a good cap. Oh. Where'd purple go? So, I'm going to look to take... Sorry. Let's, uh... I'm going to look to take Southeastern Europe and work in North Africa. And then keep my two here. Maybe bring this over in here. Although you can't really bring that in. It's a two. Oh, it's, imagine purple's cap is Arabia and he doesn't... No, he knows blue's here. Why is he adding troops in here? This is stupid. Unless his cap is here. Does purple have a Benghazi cap? Okay, purple's cap's either Nalu or Benghazi. Shit. Yeah, three on one down. Um, I think he's in here. Well, I get a lot of troops if his cap's not well protected and he, like, leaves a three on it or something. Eddie Redcheeks doesn't clap the cap. It's true. <laughs> Eddie Redcheeks. Uh, we got James from UK. We've got Samu from Spain. We've got 610 from Sweden. And G Kong from somewhere. Told me Italy was the play? I thought about it. Like, early game... All you really need to do is keep your cap alive and take bonuses. Italy might have been a good play to take all of this. But, like, does anybody go on Andalusia or Rabat or whatever? Or, I don't know. <laughs> I'm putting all of my troops here, though. We do get to keep it Christmas lands. Oh. Wait, that's Christmas lands? 
what's Christmas tree land with the Christmas tree then? That's somewhere else. Not screwing around. Oh, purple's not here. We're just going to chill. Take our bonus. Blue may come through to bring the five to the five, or he may be friendly. We'll see. No immediate rush on anything too aggressive. I thought about coming in here. Maybe I should have come in here, but I don't know if pink's cap's in here, because pink didn't go up here. And what's better than this three? Like, Moscow cap is really good. It protects the entire front side, and it has Russia. So if you don't go Moscow, what are you capping on? Here or here? Or or maybe Burgundy or Bavaria or Prussia? Like this whole center section is really neat. You can two point guard from London. Well, three point. London, Vienna, Prussia kind of covers these whole two bonuses. Pink's also fist bumping somebody. There's a chance that this is free. I think I put all my troops here and try to take this next turn and then work out here. We're fist bumping. We'll try the fist bumps. You think Moscow's a bad long run? I don't think so. I don't think it's that bad. Breaks me immediately. Like, I don't want to put five troops here and then slowly work on this and lose it. But if I do get that, that's really big. But I can also start looking at this. This looks like it's going to be open if Blue just left it. Presumably, unless there's something in Vienna. I could see there being a Vienna cat. The top Italy? You like Venice? I'd like... Yeah... It's going to start wiping out everything behind him. Yeah, blue got the extra troops because he's got back here. White's looking to take this plus bonus. Part of me wants to add on here and go break blue's bonus in here. But I'm just going to protect my cat for now. Ooh, I guess red is in here. Takes my three out. Takes Italy. <laughs> Why did purple go so hard for Egypt if there was a white one on Benghazi? Purple doesn't have Benghazi. We'll try. Pink gets 11 and we found Pink's cap. <clears throat> I'm having a bad early game again. In before five hour game. White's also in here. So white, pink touching each other. Red's here, I'm here. Blue should be taking the bonus behind him and not trying to be in the middle of the map. Because then he's got a bonus behind his capital. Like, if you cap here, you want this. Because then you can two-point guard it in one way with your cap. So why he's wasting troops out here, I don't know. But he's got seven. He's, he possibly puts an eight here and goes in here like an idiot. It's possible, but he should go this way. Okay, he's being much smarter. He is going to take this bonus. So I'm hopeful that red doesn't break me. Down to 12. 11. Bad roll. Oh, I wish he lost 3 on that. So he's 10. 9 at best. Maybe he got a bad roll on those. 9. 
He got good rolls. So one, two, three, four, five. We see five caps. We are missing purples, which is not in here. Could it be in here? Could it be here? There we go. So maybe it really is Nalu. Oh, and I bet you he got Africa. I bet you he took North Africa that turn. Okay. Is he going to go all the way up and take that from blue? If red doesn't break me, I get my bonus. I really hope red will work with me here. I could use the bonus troops. Blue also doesn't have this bonus yet, but once he gets it, he's going to knock purple out from behind. And purple will lose this. So purple's cap is probably Nalu. Almost certainly. Eight cap is very weak, but I get my bonus. But he's going to take this. Bad dice? Do I look for this? I, I might look for this bonus. Uh, purple one, 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 hopefully. <laughs> I think I need to be a bit more aggressive. try we'll see how that goes nice fresh cut almost can't tell you're a ginger we'll see how this goes i'm gonna go get coffee and hope somebody doesn't destroy me So far, so good. Pink doesn't wreck me. Does blue wreck me? Blue early trades. For this. Oh, he lost this to white. He only got five. So he is going to cut lock down on this. I would really like to take this one. I'm going to do this next turn. I didn't want to open his cap to come retaliate up here. So pink doesn't hit me. If red doesn't hit me, I, I need to watch for white and red. White's not in this bonus. He, this doesn't. This is not owned yet. Uh, presumably red and purple butt heads here. If we knock purple out of up here, he's not over here. He's not in here. So purple's going to be in one position soon, where he's pointed at me or red. Uh, if he gets knocked out of Russia. That sucks. He also trades on three early. Knocks me completely out of the top. That whole nine troops I put up there is worthless now. Okay. White is absolutely dominating. He started with 16 troops and then he traded for six. Why did you even bother trading? Save your trade. That would have been much smarter. Okay. Yeah, my cap does touch with blues. That's censored? What's censored? You just got coffee. Don't overdo it. What's my second cup? Yeah. Second, well, fourth cup of the day. Yeah, Red's got a 17 stack here. He lost zero on that. Is Purple's... Wait, he's rolling again. Is he Tunisia or Surte? Did he just take Purple's cap? Now it's an 11. I don't have a trade. 
This is very rough for me. I kind of not want to knock white out of up here. I need a strong capital. In case white goes gung ho on me. That I got to hold this with red and pink is great for me. It's the only reason I'm like not completely screwed right now. <laughs> oh, it's the second time in a row I played this game and I didn't see any good cap locations. Bad, bad early game makes this really rough. Yeah, definitely progressive, Chris. I would not want to play fixed capitals on uh, this map. It'd take a long time. Yeah, purple lost his cap to red, I'm pretty sure. I should have probably looked here. That would confirm it. I'm assuming. Right? Because uh, pink, red, me, blue. And then white didn't lose his cap. Almost certainly. So, because uh, he's a monster. So red took purple's cap. Maybe I could have went for a kill on purple, but not for small trades. I'm scared of what white's going to do. White is going to get 20 plus troops on his turn. And he already owns up to here. Is he going to take Russia? Purple bought it out. Red might feed purple to me. If he doesn't know about this too, he might take purple out to here. He's breaking me. <clears throat> Whatever. I might be able to kill purple. White's going to take this bonus now? He hasn't attacked yet. He's breaking me. He's already determined. I, wait, White's bought it out. What are these settings? Why does this happen? Why are you the strongest person by far and you now lost connect? Red gets 24. He's going to try to kill purple, but he might not know about the two. And if he doesn't know about it, I can kill purple and get a double trade. Presumably, that's the goal. He's going to pop here in a second. He's right here, I think. Yep. Good reading. Now he wants to know, where's purple? Where's the rest of them? Uh, I need to see, did blue get this bonus? I need to see if blue got this bonus or if purple's still in this corner. Well, purple could still be in this corner regardless. But if blue got the bonus, he no, he doesn't have the bonus. So purple's probably still down here. We're going to try. I don't think a 10 gets... I think purple had a decent number in here. I don't think a 10 is going to do it. Okay, I found my way around, got to add a troop to my capital, and retake my bonus. I mean, we'll try that. This game's looking very rough, uh, but we have... Red's dominating now. <clears throat> Blue's gonna get the kill on purple, if he sees it. Uh, what happened? Chainfire! Hello and happy Friday, handsome. As a bald man, I can appreciate your fresh look. Thank you, bro. Thank you for the thousand bits. I really appreciate it. I really do. Honestly, because you've been doing the thousand bit donos the last couple streams, I want to change it so text to speech works. So a thousand dollar bit with a message would actually have the AI read it. And I tried to set those settings up, but it didn't work. So I have to put some more time in to figure that out. But that being said, thank you. Uh, thank you again, sir. Blue's going to kill purple, presumably. If he doesn't, purple trades inside of him. Uh, 
Uh, white bot probably breaks me again, but might go through and do other stuff. We'll see. He didn't kill purple. So purple trades in here. Unless for some reason purple's in Estonia and Latvia. That's the only other place he could really be. So purple's in here messing with blue. Blue still didn't get the bonus. Yeah, blue's just getting busted up by purple. Red is going to get so many troops. White's going to get so many troops. Oh my god. This is just a bot steamroll at this point. Thousand dollars. Did I say thousand dollars? It's thousand bits. Sorry. Thousand dollars would be a hell of a donation. I killed it last time I saw you play these things. The game lasted five hours. And you said it was the last one ever. I know. But nobody sniped this game because they had no idea I'd be playing it. Absolutely no idea. So I had to take into account that. <clears throat> ah, white breaks me. It's fine. 25 for red and a trade. Uh, trades are only 12. Is he going to kill blue? Is he going to try to kill me? He's going to go for the kill on blue, which gives him another trade. He's probably got a decent idea that blue's weak because he's been getting five a turn, doesn't have the bonus. And he knows purple's down here maybe too. He's going to get blue and purple. He's going to be running away with this game. Can we hang on and get second or third? We'll see. You actually played white in the last days, did you? I mean, he got incredibly strong, knocked me out of the top, and then bought it out. Very frustrating. <laughs> he didn't kill blue. Or purple. I mean, I'm going to try. Blue had a trade on three. I get the double kill? You shouldn't have. That is definitely what the doctor ordered, sir. Let's have a bigger cat. Should I take this bonus? One, two, three, four, five. Damn. Do I have a trade? I don't think I do. No. <laughs> Unfortunately, none of my troops connect to my capital to fortify onto my cap. You should have probably just stacked my capital, honestly. I really wanted a bonus. The double kill helped. Sorry I'm missing some chat. I got two questions for you. When are you going to marry me and why is it in March? Killed it. I met a GM yesterday who just started Twitch streaming a week ago and he's getting close to his first milestone of 50 followers. I was wondering if you could shed him out and that some people in chat could maybe show him some support and helping him. His name is I'm Elax and he's a very enjoyable streamer to watch. I mean, he's welcome to come in and post his link or you are if you like. I, I, I'd like to watch his content before I would shout somebody out just to... That's like... Give my trademark of approval or whatever. If, like, if somebody's stream is decent, I would shout them out for sure. But I, I'm not going to shout out, like, an unknown person I don't know. But he's welcome to come in and say hi or whatever if he wants. <clears throat> Kilted, do you make more money off bits or subs? Uh, bits are way better than subs. Twitch takes over 50%. 
Did he just lose a 40 stack to white? Or did I miss that? Okay, I, I'm glad he doesn't kill my capital. But I don't have a trade, so he's going to kill it next. Yeah, so whatever, whenever you buy bits, it's 100 bits is $1. And that's just like a flat rate the streamer gets. Uh, anything you spend on subs, uh, streamer gets under 50% of it. Can I be your bridesmaid? Yeah, Jay, definitely you can be the bridesmaid. 100%. Streamers get 50% from subs and 100% from bits. Yeah. But it's actually less than 50% from subs. Please don't. Oh, he doesn't have a trade, though. So presumably I can... Uh, presumably I can take a card and pass and get a trade right now. I've got a trade if I live. Biddies to the titties. Thank you, Chainfire. I appreciate it. Thank you for the thousand bits, man. You guys are keeping me on Twitch. Uh, before the holidays, like, Twitch was, uh... Like, YouTube's kind of, like, my, my long-term play, right? Because then I'm not reliant as much on other people, like, supporting directly. I'm, I'm more, uh... If the content's good on YouTube, it's gonna get shown to people. People are gonna enjoy it. And just by watching it and having ads on that... That by itself, if I could get big enough, would cover bills and stuff like that. But uh, lately, you guys have been very generous on Twitch, and I very much appreciate it. And uh, it's motivating me to put more more time and effort into Twitch and not just recording offline. Because it's much easier to record for YouTube not streaming, because I don't get sniped. I don't have to hide lobbies. I can play any random settings. If someone's accidentally in my lobby, they have no idea because my name's hidden. I'm very scared for what Red's going to do. We are in Final Four, and I have a trade. If I can live to trade... I can maybe live to get top two. If red and pink fight, maybe I get a free kill on the bot at some point. I don't there's there's just chances. The bot's got five cards right now, might not even be on a capital. Um if my cap gets opened, how much did pink get to start? Seven? No. The bot's probably got a lot of troops in here and I don't have enough to kill it, even if my cap's open. Also, red might just 60 on 35 right now. He's gonna get 71 on 35. I think I'm dead anyways. Because he could also bring the 13 up, smack it, and then roll it. It is what it is. He lost that roll. Well, I'm going to live. And he's going to have a free cap. I will be able to get a cap. Yeah. Now what? Now I have two capitals. No, I don't. He's going to take that. He didn't even break my bonus. Okay. I'm glad that finally I saw a cap roll fail on me. Don't cry. Don't cry. You started this, and now you're going to reap the rewards. Oh, baby. Let's smack you. Positive roll. Let's keep on. Oh, baby. Now we're in the game. Red does not have a trade. And if he only adds a few here to come break me, he, he the three might surprise him. I didn't break Italy or this, so he gets a lot of troops. White's about to trade for a lot if pink doesn't kill him. Pink doesn't have a trade this turn. Red didn't even take a card. Actually, that's a very good point. Red is behind me in card taking. Ooh, red being behind me in cards is really good. If pink's contending with the bot and I can beat red in this fight. Oh, he's going looking. Oh no, he's going for the kill on the bot. He, he Maybe he gets it. He's strong. If he kills the bot and trades, red and I are screwed. We're in a lot of trouble now.
But this is probably good because I need Red to worry about him and not me. Although Red's got... <clears throat> Good game. I'm hoping he hits red and not me, because me and him have been good allies, but uh, we'll see. Oh, this looks like it's coming through this way. Yes. Yes. We're going to get second, I believe. And with the start we had, I'm going to be content with second if we get it. That free cap is why he was crying? I think so. <laughs> oh, so beautiful. What do you got, Red? You didn't even take a card, bro. Yeah, he added troops in here. He's not even going to break this. Probably doesn't break this. We, together, we need to butcher the crap out of pink. We need to run the whole board. <clears throat> but he's, yeah, he's going to trade back. I'm going to come through here and try to break some pink, too. But Red probably came out of here. So maybe I'll come up and see. He's saying good luck, because he's got a trade. Imagine he fail-killed Red? Because <laughs> if he fail-killed Red and I got Red's two car three cards next turn... Because he's going to trade and go nuts. He wants to fist bump me. Um... We need to do this the best way possible. Oh, I only lost one on the six. Let's go. Okay. This is our only chance to maybe win. I don't foresee us winning, but... Red got all the way in here, which is good. Is that a trade? No! That would have been perfect to trade on three right now. So, pink gets ten... So we broke him, but he's about to go ham. He is about to go ham. See how it goes. If I didn't hit pink at all, I would have got second, because pink would have gave me second. I'm confident he would have killed red and gave me second. But now that we both hit him, I might get third. But I have a very small chance at first. So I'm taking my shot at trying to get first, even if it costs me my chance at second. Kind of the big, the BD approach. Got to go get him. Thanks for stopping by, Liam. Sorry if I missed anybody's messages. I am trying to commentate the game and focus a little bit more on the game. I played some games lately where I'm like just hardcore uh, focused on on uh, the Twitch chat while I'm playing the game, and I'm missing obvious stuff. <clears throat> okay, so he's not gonna kill Red. Hits that cap. Oh man, if Red could full suicide. That'd be great. Pink's off his caps. <clears throat> One, two. Wait, I have two caps. Pink's on this cap still, though. I'm so close to a cap run. This has a three on it. Now it has a five. This has a five. This has a five. This is a 13. How much is this cap in London? <clears throat> No! I had to try. I had to try. No, bad roll. <clears throat> How are we looking for cards? I have the card lead. We definitely have a trade now. I needed a dude. The game's not over. Red's got two fives on two caps. And pink. I have a trade before pink. I have a trade before pink, and if, if if red's weak enough, I can kill him for four cards and trade again, and then punch pink. I might be able to win this game. We might be able to win this game. <laughs> I put on the socks. 
Hit the hit the hit. Yes, lose seven. Split. I want to see like lose twenty. No, he doesn't hit it. He's going up and around. Okay. He's not going to kill this cat. So red has a five and a thirteen cat. And he has like a forty-five or something. Or fifty-five or something. With no access. So a five and a thirteen cap for red. <laughs> Don't break me. Go down so I can do a full sweep. Um, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I have three caps. Oh, it's so close. Wait, this 30 hits this? No, it's, it's not there. We've got four caps with a bunch of 20s. We're even on cards. We don't have a trade. He trades. 65 plus what? He doesn't have enough for a cap run. We're in a 1v1. If I had a couple more seconds, I would have got the 5 up and the 7 in. <clears throat> he can't come through this. Like, there's only one way into the back door here, and I can come back out. I don't have a trade. But if I get it, oh my god, that's huge. I hope you lose like 60 troops. 48 is great for me. He's got 100 troops total. I have 126. And that opens up my, my cap. Okay, good. And I'm going to get a ton of troops this turn. Presumably this doesn't get broken. It might. No, timing's out. Oh, he's going in here. Is this cap being left open? After all that, you're going to leave this open? <clears throat> no. Okay. Mm. Twelve. Okay, we're going to even slider blitz a little bit. It's turning into a really good game. This is looking pretty good. He's going to try to come through here with some troops, right? That's a hide an extra six stack there to backdoor him. He's like, oh, I'm going to come right through the three with my 11 and break all this. And then I got a hidden six in the back. He's not ready for. <clears throat> this is this is over, over. I have a trade and he is so behind. See, we can play this quick. 69 viewers. What's up, JJ? Hope you're doing well, man. I know today's your day off, right? Oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> 
What are you doing? You're running out of time to win the game. I don't even need to set up a card block right now. I think I'm just far enough ahead it doesn't matter. Maybe, presumably, I could, uh... Hmm. Whatever, we'll just do this. See what he does? I mean, he's not getting through the 56. He's not getting through the 9. If I get a trade before him, he's super done. I can just ca take the caps, but... I've got, I, he's not breaking all my bonuses. I'm going to get considerably more troops than him uh, every turn. I think it's been three weeks since Kilted won on stream. Yo, I had some really bad losses the last couple streams. Yeah. It's going to feel like three weeks for YouTube... They're going to be like, Kilted loses a lot. Why do I watch this channel? But on the other hand, I was getting accused of never posting losses because I had, like, I was winning so much. So at least now you can see, I lose all the time, man. You get those streaks, right? Win streaks and then loss streaks. It happens. 28's back to the capital. Do that. Just to make sure my caps are good and he can't just do like a lucky cap run or something. He cannot do that. He's slidering. Yeah, I got that win in that five hour game. That's never going on YouTube though. Playing scared, playing a little bit safe. Like this is a this is a secured win right here. I hope he does a lot of stuff here so I can uh, card block him. Yeah, okay, fifty six is open. Hmm. Maybe we've got enough to end it. Good game. This guy's all happy. Let's do it. We did it with our own color. GG. We had a Europe Advanced Capitals game. It didn't last five hours. Normally they don't. Uh, we played with Expert, Intermediate, Beginner, Beginner, and Grandmaster. Pink was Grandmaster.
I'm like, wait, wasn't I pink? No, he was pink. <laughs> if you're joining from YouTube, thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you tomorrow for more risk. And I have one to two territorial videos released every week. I invite you to give those videos a chance. Check them out. It's like fast paced risk. Risk. Battle Royale 100 or 200 peoples. Winner take all. Uh, it's pretty good. Similar world domination type game. So see you tomorrow. Take care.